Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 17th, 2020. Well, my goodness, we are only about a week away from Christmas, and the market just can't seem to um, help itself but rally, rally, rally. We had um, retail sales numbers that came in way less than expected. Pretty big miss on that. We um, also had a couple other misses in the numbers yesterday, but no one seemed to care. And um, the NASDAQ set new record highs. We also set some new record yesterday that are pretty darn grim. Um, the highest number of death toll um, since the COVID situation began with more than 3,600 people dying yesterday and hospitalizations hitting a new record. But that didn't even make that didn't even make the CNBC front page feed today, because the only thing we can really seem to be thinking about is uh, stimulus right now. Stimulus has kind of taken over uh, the market and taking over uh, the bull. Um, run here and we continue to stay fueled up on that now today we have some um, news that could shift things around right before the market open but as of now very very bullish so how about we grab ourselves um, something to drink and let's buckle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the morning market prep video this morning, everyone, we have futures pushing for a new um, high open. And as you can see here in this chart, by the way, uh, TC2000, well, this candle right here is actually the pre-market activity right now. You can see we're trying to gap up this morning and move higher. Um, it has pulled back just slightly from uh, morning highs but we're still looking at more than a hundred point uh, potential gap up ahead of um, the economic reports. And we still have this bullish trend uh, moving in the market to the upside. Now we have been a little bit restricted. You know, we have a little bit of a resistance high up here that we've been struggling with trying to push on through. And I, I'll show you why I think that is continuing to occur, but we just, we're just choosing to ignore any of the details of the economy and really focused on that hopefulness of more deficit spending um, and, and that stimulus bill coming out. So um, as we progress on that, let's keep a close eye on this. One of the things I'm beginning to worry about is we've put so much hope into that bill. Once it finally passes, it could actually be a sell the news event. So watch that closely here in the market. And one of the things I want to caution you on is to always stay with the trend of the market. So the trend of the market is bullish. But don't get caught up in the idea that the market will never fall again. Just remember, we had a pretty ugly day here just on Monday and how quickly and how big a point moves that could be and just realize how far extended we are and how painful that might be if we do suddenly decide to care about the economy. Let's take a look um, at our technicals here in the chart and just notice that we are quite a ways away from our 50 day moving average still. And although we continue to push up and we have some support level down in here, let's just go to the, the Dow really quick to kind of display that. Now the Dow, um, as you can see, is not quite as strong as we're seeing in uh, the diamonds themselves. But as you can see, if we were to pull back, um, and, and just pull back to this next level of support. That's 580 points. And if we really get uh, busy with it, just dropping down to the 34 exponential moving average, 750 points. If we come on down here to this level of price support, 1137 points. So just keep in mind that we continue as we continue to stretch higher. If we do suddenly make that shift, it could be a pretty painful move, particularly if you're chasing in or over trading this market. So I want to issue that caution once again, and I know I, I sound like a broken record on this, but just that caution to be careful not to be chasing overextended stocks or over trading this market in case that shift does begin to um, happen. And remember to have a plan, have a plan of exit, how you're going to protect your capital and 
um, capture some gains because it's certainly been a market that has provided tremendous gains for those of us long the market. And, and I am long the market. Um, there's no question and no doubt to that. I am long the market, but I am being a little bit careful and cautious and I'm going to make sure to protect myself if we do get that shift. And I'm buying stocks that are at or near price support, not those that are already well extended. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pushing up. Looks like we're going to set a new record high at the open. Assuming this doesn't change with the um, economic calendar reports this morning, but it looks like we're set right now for a new record high open in the SPY as we continue to drive and push and push and push here in the market. So watch that closely. That could certainly change um, with these economic reports here this morning, but the trend is up. Stay with the trend until that trend breaks. Just realize that even a pullback to this level of support um, if we go to um, the S&P 500, just to measure that, if we were to pull back just to the last low here in the market, and this is from yesterday's close, that's 74 points. It would be a pretty painful pullback, and there's a pretty good level of support there. But just realize that if we do shift, um, it could be substantial. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ set new record highs yesterday and is poised to set new record highs again today. That's got to be like the 53rd, 54th new record high this year in the NASDAQ as we continue to stretch up. Trend is still bullish. Let's notice that we're up one, two, three, four. This would be five days in a row. So we want to watch for that possibility of profit taking and just that possibility that if we do suddenly decide that um, uh, details of the economy are important and we start to shift, it could be a rather painful pullback, kind of like we had right here. So just watch that carefully and closely in case that does begin. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been truly impressive. And I got to tell you, I'm more and more concerned every day of the parabolic nature of this move in here. And as we continue to just kind of climb almost in that straight line move to the up side. Um, I, I, I want to be very watchful here and, and be very, um, very focused on the fact that we could shift. But until that occurs, we're continuing to drive higher and higher, particularly the financials and the oil sector stocks helping to lift these uh, this index uh, tremendously. And if we are in that recovery mode of, of the economy, um, you know, anticipating next year is what we're really doing, then um, that could continue. But just be watchful for that uh, change if it does decide to happen. We're stretched out pretty far here and a reversal could be pretty painful. Let's take a look at the VIX. And here the VIX did give us a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but I got to tell you, it's it's still one of those things that's rather perplexing. We're seeing um, the VIX floating around 22 handles here. We can't seem to break down. Notice that we're making new record highs and we're not making new lows here in the VIX. That means there is fear still out there as we continue to push higher. There's an apprehension here that something may eventually snap. Now, I don't think there's any major fear here and we haven't seen any panic um, in the market for some time and I keep mentioning this little downtrend here I think as long as we stay underneath this we're in pretty good shape if we were to see some fear start creeping in and break above that area and hold it that's where the real problem would start what I would really prefer to see is as we're making new highs I want to see that fear really dropping down and setting new lows that's what we want to see Hanging around up here gives me that little bit of apprehension and that little bit of tension where we're going to have to really stay focused here in case that shift does occur. Let's take a look at T2122. Now I get a lot of questions about T2122 and, and I got to tell you, I, I, have, I have not seen any place um, else other than the TC2000 platform where you can get the T20, T2122 indicator. Now, as you can see, I plot this just as a line chart and as you look out here you can take this back as far as you want to go anytime we're up in this upper range we eventually get a pullback in the market um, and that's where we are right now we continue to remain up here we had a little bit of dip the other day 
um, on Monday on that selling, but we rallied right back up here. So we continue to, to hold up here in this very extended situation in the market. And that also gives me that little bit of pause. If we happen to get one bearish thing that the market decides to respect, we could see a significant pullback in the market that might even cascade on itself as everyone starts pulling those profits and um, getting out of the way as uh, folks run for the door. Now, I can't tell you when that might occur or even if it will. I just want to let you know that the possibility does exist and you need to be prepared. Just don't be blindly chasing stocks in a situation like this. Let's take a look at T2101. Now combining these two together, this gives me the major concern that I have right now. Notice that our absolute market breadth continues to decline. And as we continue to decline in this downtrend and our overall market is extending to the upside, that's a significant divergence. Seeing fewer and fewer stocks lifting this market to new record highs and we continue to ignore the details of um, the actual market economy. So watch that carefully. If this does decide to shift, it could shift very, very quickly. So stay focused. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we do have, as I've mentioned before, we do have some things on that economic calendar we're going to want to be paying attention to this morning. First off, we've got housing starts and permits. Now housing has been very, very strong and we saw um, mortgage applications very, very strong yesterday. So I suspect this will hold up pretty well, could actually help the market uh, push a little bit higher. The bigger concern that we have maybe right now is the jobless claims. Last week we had a significant increase in jobless claims and the market chose to ignore it. Um, and we could ignore it, it again today. Now, right now, consensus is suggesting that we actually see a decline in those jobless claims, but they were suggesting that last week as well. Um, it's as if we're really ignoring what's going on on the um, jobs front out there right now with uh, the impacts of COVID and the shutdowns and lockdowns that continue to get stronger and stronger as these numbers continue to grow. So watch that carefully. That could be that number that creates that stumbling block and brings out the bears. Watch for that. And then we have the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index after that. So all three of these events are potential market moving events that we'll want to pay attention to. Or we could just put on our blind forget about everything and just be focused on stimulus as well so just just stay on your toes and then we have a, a natural gas report I wouldn't expect that to move that around and then the Fed balance sheet um, down here at the bottom and um, I don't think anybody cares about the Fed balance sheet we know that we've got trillions and trillions and trillions of debt nobody cares anymore so um, I don't know that that's going to have any effect on the market. Keep in mind, we have a light day tomorrow. We've got some Fed speakers, but a really light day heading into Friday. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be uh, setting. Oh, I forgot we should mention um, earnings. We um, have a, um, as usual, Thursday tends to be our biggest earnings day of the week. And the same is holding true today. And we have some notables that we might want to pay attention to. Um, we've got um, FDX. FedEx will be reporting today. That's one we'll want to be paying attention to. That could certainly have some effects on UPS as well. Um, and both of these have been in really interesting patterns, bullish patterns that could move on higher here. Um, we've got General Mills reporting today. Now, General Mills is one of those big old boring companies. Um, been in a downtrend here in the chart. Looks like it's trying to perk up just a little tiny bit here, but we might want to keep an eye on that. It's a good divvy payer. It might be one of those safety plays if the market does decide to turn south. Um, we have uh, BlackBerry um, reporting today. Now, this has just been on a tremendous rally here lately and consolidating up here, as you can see. So keep a close eye on that as it reports this morning. Um, we have um, 
Rite Aid, Rite Aid Rad um, reporting today. It looks like they've got a good report going on here, perking up nicely in the pre-market. This is a pre-market candle, by the way, pushing up. And we're going to be up here attacking some resistance highs in the chart. So um, let's keep an eye on Rad might be kind of an interesting one. And JBL, JBL is also on that list today. Reporting looks like a little pop and drop so far this morning where we've uh, gapping up and pulling back just a little bit. But let's watch that as we approach this resistance here in the chart. That's going to be important for JBL to see if we can push on through. And last but not least, WOR. You might want to pay attention to it. It will be reporting today. And what's interesting is we've seen steel doing pretty well here recently. Um, but WOR looks like it's got a little bit of a bearish attitude this morning, pushing back down. It may actually uh, come back and test this level of price support so watch that closely so how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon when it pops up and if you feel this video was worthy, if it helped you prepare for your day, if you could click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps us continue to grow. And I truly, truly appreciate that a lot. Um, I do get a chance to re I read every one of the comments. I try to answer as many as possible. Um, and I want to just say thank you for everyone who takes the time to do that. It helps us grow. You guys are awesome. I, I, I just can't say thank you enough. Um, Never in my wildest dreams would I have expected this many people to um, appreciate um, this kind of look at the market without all the hype that you might see in other places. Let's take a look at the stock setting up. And please keep in mind that when I show you some of these stocks that are setting up, that um, we need to do our own due diligence in, in a trade. These are not a recommendation to buy or sell any any security at all and everyone needs to follow your own plans your own rules these might help for a watch list but be careful do not blindly follow someone else's trade thoughts let's take a look here's some of those steel to stocks i was talking about uh cleveland clips holding up very very strong and as you can see um a beautiful upside move here we're trying to consolidate if i show you some of my drawings you can see i've got a price alert up here i'm watching cleveland for that possibility of popping out now I will tell you that it's a bit extended off the trend so I can't tell you that I would actually pick this one up but I want to keep an eye on it it's really looking strong here let's take a look at X US Steel is also very very strong extended away from its trend but notice we've really had um, not a lot of people wanting to sell this. So holding up very, very bullishly here. Watch for that possibility that this could push on through and go on higher. Take a look at um, um, Fastly here. Fastly setting up in a very nice pattern. I love these kind of patterns where we... Um, break back higher we break above some significant levels of price resistance and then we just kind of rest and notice that we have some volatility in this price action right in here some big swinging candles and then all of a sudden notice how that volatility drops and quiets down and we kind of rest right out here toward the trend one of my favorite patterns when I see that little resting period in here and I'm going to be watching for that possibility that those bulls will push that up and pop that through that area and we extend on up and maybe work to fill this gap here in Fastly. So watch that close. A very nice looking chart. You could also take a look at um, Roku. Roku doing very well and I placed an alert on this and look at that guy gapping away this morning. Um, the stay at home stocks are really picking up some steam here as COVID numbers continue to rise and restrictions continue to rise around the country. And those stay at home stocks um, very, very bullish and as you can see here Roku popping through my alert here this morning really showing some strength moving on higher take a look at lift lift um, I mentioned yesterday this was a beautiful 
uh, buy signal that was brought to uh, me by one of the members of Rightway Options. Beautiful, beautiful chart pattern here, extending on higher, continuing to look good. Keep an eye on lift. A little bit, going to change things up here a little bit, but take a look at Altria. Altria, Mo is kind of an interesting um, chart here. Um, this is a a very long-term downtrend and notice that we've finally broken through that downtrend to the top side here and we have proven now to hold this downtrend as support keep a close eye on this you can see I've got my alert in here and I'm honestly considering this as even a longer term trade if you take a look at a weekly chart a longer term position I do hold some longer term uh, trades and I like the fact that this is resting in here so just keep an eye on this this may turn into a buy here at any time pretty substantial um, change here in this chart so keep a close eye on it it might be one to watch take a look at caterpillar caterpillar continues to set up in this chart you can see heavy equipment has been doing quite well nice little consolidating move over here to the trend we're looking for that bullish move that kind of pops us out and gets us moving and notice that every one of the charts that i'm showing here guys are charts that are at or near a price support or trend level. They're not those stocks that are really, really pushed up and extending. Um, they're those stocks that have kind of taken that time to, to rest and show that bullishness in their chart. So watch that. Caterpillar John Deere is another in that same sector. Per perking back up here, trying to break through some resistance highs take a look at UAA. UAA Under Armour has had a tremendous run here lately. Now we're up here trying to break through this pretty big level of price resistance in the chart. But if you take a look at this, notice how we're camping out up here. Broke through that level, camping out over here, nice little light consolidation, holding on to that price support and just sliding over here to the trend. So watch that carefully. We could see UAA catch that bid anytime here and be, continue this upside trend in the market. So watch that close. So there's a few stocks. I do want to point out that we've had a pretty significant change here in uh, precious metals. Take a look at silver. Um, silver perking up really strongly here and advancing once again this morning. Now this holding on to this downtrend here in the chart, um, breaking back through. Now I think this break of resistance is very important. I wouldn't want to chase it here, but any rest or pullback that holds us above that level of support would suggest precious metals are back in focus as we continue to print debt. At, at an alarming rate um, in our country. And also take a look at GLD. GLD uh, making a significant move here in the last few days and breaking through some resistance here on this morning's gap up. So any rest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity. So once again, I'm not suggesting chasing something that's already up three, four, five days in a row. Let that rest or pull back to find that new entry point in that trade. But precious metals starting to come around here. We might want to keep an eye on those. All right, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And we'll see you right back here bright and early. Friday morning. Be safe out there. Protect yourself from this COVID stuff. Boy, these numbers are getting ugly. Be safe. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone.